I'm in the process of making a tricopter based off Hall Studios uh, build video and this is what I have uh, for the uh, frame. This is just the, the frame I built. Uh, I took the uh, RC template and increased it by 186% and traced it out and made this. I think it's just like uh, RC or uh, Hall Studios. I think. I think it's close. But I was trying to figure out a different thing to do for the uh, rear servo instead of doing the uh, three pieces all glued together with just a uh, drywall screw going through the end. Out here on blueskyrc.com he has a, a good picture of his tricopter. Now teach his own but you know what I really what I was really inter interested in down is down here a little bit where he has this awesome looking uh, back part for where he mounted his servo and how he built his um, the little hinge so that it can turn the uh, rear propeller back and forth so I saw this and I thought I wonder if I can build one of these of course he has them he has them for sale on this page they're like 40 bucks if you want to complete copter but you can't just buy the uh, tail piece if you, the tail piece if that's all you want but here's a picture of all his uh, pieces that he had and so I did a little calculation and I think I figured out how to build it. I printed off his picture onto a piece of paper and based on the calculation that this uh, that this rear arm here is a half inch by half inch I figured out some of the dimensions on this uh, tail piece and uh, I did some calculations over here on how long I thought all these pieces would be all based on the fact that the the piece coming in the rear arm was half inch and I did it all in millimeters and uh, even though I'm not a metric man I did it all in millimeters because it was easier to count millimeters and inches and most of the stuff on the internet now for tricopters is in millimeters instead of inches so anyway I'll show you what it looks like what the uh, drawings I look like the, ugh, the drawings I came up with look like so here are the uh, final pieces that I finally had to take to uh, get it to work. And I put them into a template which you can download off of uh, the website. I'll put the links in the comments. But here I went ahead and I cut out all the pieces. And there's only six of them because this one here is just the same thing. Except this one here has the, ta the top piece cut off but they're the same. Uh, I got all the pieces cut out. Put them all onto this uh, eighth inch. Eighth inch uh, birch plywood. I got this from uh, Michael's craft store and then I uh, was able to cut out all the pieces. Now the RC, the RC website he uses a laser cutter and his all look perfect. Mine? Not so much. You can see a lot of the bad spots like right there on that piece. Right there is bad. Some of these cuts didn't come out perfectly but with enough glue I think these things will actually pull together all right but uh, you have to make a couple some of them you have to do two times like this one and this one and this one you have to do four times so anyway I'll show what it looks like put together so this is it assembled connected to the tricopter and you'll notice that the uh, rear arm comes right back to the back of this little piece there and this is where the servo would sit and it mounts to these two uh, pieces coming up then I think after I find the uh, right size bolt and um, a couple little stoppers you drill a hole through here through here and then put some holes in the bottom of this and this sits on here like this and there's enough clearance up here in the front right here for this thing to go in there and then you run the uh, shaft through all six of these put the little stoppers on the inside here and the inside over here and tighten them down and this thing will rock back and forth like this so then the uh, oops, the servo that's mounted here has a, will have a wire that connects down to the arm on this piece let me flip it over again it will connect to this arm that sticks up right here you have to drill a hole in it and then that that servo will turn this back and forth and the motor mounts to this um, this is um, this is in preparation of me getting my motors in the mail but I think this will work I'm gonna glue it all together the only bad thing will be if I do crash it 
it will break and I will have to remake it. <laughs> now these pieces are not perfect. When you cut this, if you do cut this out yourself, you'll notice that they don't fit together exactly right. That's just because your cutting skills are not perfect. <laughs> if you have a laser cutter, though, I bet you would. I bet you'd be able to cut these out, and they would fit together flawlessly. I tried to uh, make the template as close to um, what I, I mean, as close as I can. Uh, if you do download the template, you should be able to print it. Just make sure your printer doesn't do any zooming or any cropping. And uh, it should be able to print off. And hopefully, if it does, your uh, your tail piece will look better than mine. Hopefully, when you're done, yours will look better than Blue Sky RCs that he has out here. But I doubt it. Not unless you got a laser cutter. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead. Hit, please hit like. Uh, it'll help other people find it. And uh, hopefully, st people will start making more tricopters, and we'll see more tricopter build videos out here. Thanks again for watching.